I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> Welcome to the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis with over 10 years of flight experience with FPV and professional drone filming. Today you're probably looking for a video on how to make professional video with your DJI FPV drone. Now this is not like a typical Mavic straight ahead flying drone or even the DJI Mini 2. It is very different. It also has manual, full manual mode for flying in what we call in the FPV community acro mode but if you want to get professional looking video you need to have an ND filter set in your arsenal in your bag you need to be able to pull out that specific ND filter for that time of day it depends on the time of day when you're filming which one you're going to use they do include four different filters in this set uh, they have ND4, 8, 16 and 32 we're going to test each one of those out in this video but I'm also most importantly going to show you the settings in the camera that you need to adjust for the shutter speed. What we're going to do is we're going to slow down the shutter speed down from two thousandths of a second down to one twentieth of a second. And that is going to add motion blur to your video. Otherwise you're going to get pretty nice video that's in focus but it won't have that cinema look that we're looking for. So an indie filter will smooth out some of the jello and the jitter in the frames the tune on the DJI FPV drone is not perfect, so the ND filter set will absolutely help smooth all of that video out and give you that cinema look that you're looking for. So let's go ahead outside now, let's test out the Freewell filters, all four of them, and I'll show you the different looks that we get during a bright and sunny day. It will make your colors pop and your black point much nicer. Here we go. So open up your camera settings and select the camera mode to manual instead of auto and change your shutter down to 1 20th of a second if you're using the ND16 filter and it should look something like this. And now we're going to get some motion blur in our video and it'll look a lot more cinematic. Now installation of your ND filter is kind of tricky. You do have to hold the gimbal with two fingers. It does have notches on the filter so you can hold it with your index finger and your thumb. Now firmly hold the gimbal in place and push the lens cover on and once it's on you'll feel it kind of seat and then you need to push firmly till it's totally seated and it's on straight. You can kind of twist it to turn it straight but make sure that your filter is on correctly or it'll fall off and everything will go white. So if it happens you push the pause button on your drone and then you need to go ahead and change the manual mode from the shutter speed so that you can see again to come in and land. Um, we have had reports of people crashing with this so if you're flying in acro mode be very careful that you have this lens cover on correctly. You do not want to lose it mid-flight. Now before we show you the Freewell filters let's go ahead and show you what the stock settings look like on the DJI FPV drone. Without the filter this is the stock setup for the ISO and the shutter speed and the white balance is set to auto here. You can see that the clouds off in the distance, they don't have a whole lot of definition. The color doesn't look very saturated. The black points are okay, but the overall image quality could use some improvements. So out of the box, it might take a little bit of tweaking for saturation settings, the EV shutter and ISO and everything. So let's go ahead now and let's start out with the first of four filters. So we're going to start out today with the ND4 and this is the first of four filters. Look at the big improvement that you see here. 
No filter on the right, ND4 on the left, and wow, what an improvement. Color saturation, you can see the clouds off in the distance, and this is the lightest of the bunch. So we'll move up now to the ND8, just a little bit darker, and you'll see vast improvements over the original on the right. You're bringing out more color contrast, better black points. You have tons of definition in between your lights and darks, and the contrast looks great. You don't have a lot of sky wash out here. And that's, in my opinion, when you move over to using ND filters, that's where you can really get great definition in the clouds and the sky. It really kind of brings out the true blue. Now 16 is starting to get a little bit dark. You can see here on this bright and sunny day that it does make a difference as you go up the scale. So if you start out with four, try four first and then move up. If 16 appears to be too dark, land it and put the eight on there and go with the eight. So somewhere in between, uh, four might be a little bit too light, but the 16 might just get you in the right spot. Usually what I do, honestly folks, I start out with the ND16. It's my favorite filter that I usually use on most sunny days. And look at how green the greens look and look how beautiful the sky looks. So vast improvement in cloud definition as well. Way back in, in the back farthest point of the horizon, you can see the cloud definition way better with the ND16 filter. Now just a little darker is the ND32 and that one comes in with strong definition, dark black points and a lot of contrast between the darks and the lights. So uh, way better than the original camera lens with no filter on it. Uh, you're gonna improve your videos big time when you start using ND filters. And you have to experiment a little bit. Use the settings that we first put in this video to get your filter going and then just move up and again, I, I would say start out with ND16 and move your way up from there. If it's, if it's pretty bright, depending on where you live around the world, if you have a lot of light on the, the ground, like you're filming uh, maybe a, a mountaintop, you probably want to be filming with an ND32. So yeah, it's all about the conditions. Experiment and have fun with it. All right, so there's a lot of benefits that you're going to get if you get a set of ND filters and free will is great. Um, you have to make sure that you put them on correctly. If it falls off, it's not free will's fault because you have to make sure that it's on there tight. Vibrations on the drone are very high and they're micro vibrations. So things will come loose and slip off. If that does happen to you, it wasn't pushed on tight enough because these are manufactured to be put on there very tight and very secure so make sure that you hold the gimbal with two fingers and use the other two fingers to put the gimbal lens cover on um, it's it's quite a tricky thing to do and, and I, I i will agree that it, it is it is tricky to get it on there and make sure that it's nice and snug because the last thing you want to do is ruin your camera right so uh, we definitely don't want to ruin the gimbal or damage anything there so be super careful when you're putting these on but it's going to vastly improve your video and give you that sort of hollywood professional looking video that most of the other guys are out there taking and friends of mine that do pro video in hollywood these are the type of filters they use they're not super expensive you don't have to spend several hundred dollars on filters for the fpv drone so freewell or any other filters out there just give them a shot try them out and see what you think what your video looks like stock to using ND filters. And again, my favorite one is ND16. That's usually the first one that I pull out and set up on the drone before I take off. So um, set up your white balance and all that to manual mode 5600 there. And also make sure that your frame rate for the shutter on your frame rate should be uh, two times your frame rate. So that's one of the, the key things that you need to understand. So make sure you set those settings up like I showed you before in the beginning of the video and you should come out with some fantastic video with your filters. So happy flying everybody and let me know how you're doing with your videos with your FPV drone. I will have a review coming up, a full honest review on the DJI FPV drone coming up on the channel. Stay humble and kind guys. Take care, happy FPV, and please do subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.